Welcome to TM Recaps. Today, we are going to talk about an action comedy movie titled Zoom, Academy for Superheroes. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins with a flashback story of Zenith Team, which was led by Zoom and his brother Concussion with the help of Dr. Grant. They use their powers to save humanity. The government seek to enhance their powers using gamma-13 radiation. It helps Zoom to get even more faster, but Concussion turned into Dark Side and attacked his own team. In the process of containing Concussion Zoom lost his speed and Concussion was sent to another dimension, and he was imprisoned there since then. In present, we see Dr. Grant explaining to the General, about the anomaly occurred in time-space by Concussion, which they only have 12 days left for collision. Then the general reactivates the Zenith program, and tells Dr. Grant to find kids with superpowers, he also told Grant to bring Zoom in, for training of those kids. In the next scene, we see Zoom, aka Jack Shepard, doing his routine, he then sees a woman in green dress, who is crossing the road and comes across to a car and fell down, he then brings her into his garage to clean, meanwhile Dr. Grant intervened their conversation, Dr. Grant greets Zoom and introduces Marsha Holloway, the women in green dress to Zoom, she is also a psychologist, Dr. Grant tells Zoom about their plan of reactivating the Zenith program, and asks for his help, to which Zoom refuses, but Dr. Grant tranquilizes him. Next scene shifts to a little girl, named Cindy Collins, who is in her Halloween costume for a trick or treat, when she got bullied by a bully, she throws him onto a tree with her super strength, Next we see Summer Jones, is being bullied in the line during lunch, she then throws the food at her bullies, by using her psychic powers, next we see Dylan West, he is told to complete the equation, while doing that he shows his invisible power and everyone gets shocked, next we see Tucker Williams, he can expand by blowing his body parts and make them big, he is ready to take a dive, when he got commented he dive onto his bully, with a big butt. Then scene shifts to a research facility in Area 52, where Zoom has been brought back, Miss Holloway comes across Zoom and Dr. Grant, and again slips down, she is a huge fan of Zoom, Dr. Grant and Holloway show him the selected kids, and do an audition with all of them, the kids start to show their unique abilities, which some of them have kind of weird abilities, finally, out of which four kids have selected, Cindy, Summer, Dylan, and Tucker. When Marsha tells Zoom to introduce himself to kids, he demotivates them with his negative feelings, and his experience about that training facility, he is being observed by General and Dr. Grant from CAMS, Dr. Grant shows Zoom his suit which he had prepared for him, which he never got a chance to wear, later that day Marsha shows the kids her comic collection about Zoom and his adventures, then kids come to know that Jack was also a superhero, they rush to Jack and questions him with excitement, but he sarcastically answers them and drains out all their excitement, and tells them about his training, Dylan thinks that Jack is not able to train them, because he cannot tie his own shoe. Jack start training the kids in his own way, but Dylan doesn't like there and escapes during his training time, they even made a code for Dylan to contain him when he tries to escape, code Dylan, and the training with the other kids also went pretty bad, all they do is just play with their powers. Later Jack gets to Marsha and asks her that he wants to know what they are training the kids for, and tells this whole program is a mistake, and says the last thing the world needs is a bunch of kids running around in costumes thinking they are superheroes. Hearing this Marsha asks him what happened to him and reminds his superhero oath from the comics, he then tells her that they are just comics and the government just made them up and they are not real. Hearing this Marsha leaves from there saying they are real for her. Later while Marsha is explaining the general about the progress the general tells her they don't have enough time and big threat is coming and they have to prepare the kids soon. Jack comes there and asks what the threat is after hearing the general's words. Back to the training. Jack isn't training the kids but he is playing baseball with them with the others. Later they go to lab. And Jack sees a robot named Mr. Pib. He tells that they didn't have friends here so the scientists built them one. After Grant is gone Jack asks Pib about some secret room and asks if he got key to it, and they got to a secret room with the help of Pib and sees a UFO in there, the gets shocked to see the UFO, they all get into the UFO and drives it out of the facility, they drive to a nearby Wendy's and they order food, the guy who hands over the order sees the UFO and is shocked about it, and this event makes the news, Marsha watches it and goes to confront Jack and says he should be training the kids for the simulation, 
not take them for outings. Later that night Cindy gets to Jack's room after having a bad dream and says she is afraid. Jack lets her sleep on the couch. Cindy thanks him. Then she asks him if her parents send her here because she is different. To which Jack says that she is special that's why their parents sent her here. To learn how to use her abilities to do good. Next day the kids are put in a room with hundreds of paintball launchers to train them to dodge bullets, and later they are training their abilities on a one-on-one -on -one session with Jack, even though they are getting better at it gradually it isn't enough for the mission, by the end of the day the kids are all tired and covered in paintballs, later when Jack gets to them Summer claims that he doesn't care about them, and he using them only for money, then Cindy asks him if that is true but he neither accepts or declines it, instead he dodges the question, later he goes to Dylan who is kept in an isolation chamber where he can't use his powers, he tells Dylan about his days in the Zenith program and how he was recruited into the program, and says that he got here with his brother, and trained with him, Dylan understands that concussion is his brother and he is real too, while talking about his brother Jack feels uncomfortable and tells Dr. Grant to let them out, after a while, when Dylan is having a one-on-one -on -one session with Jack, while talking Jack notices something and tests it, he asks Dylan to imagine where Summer is, when Dylan tries to do so he can see Summer dancing in her room, Jack then tells him that this power is called Mindsight, or, a super stalker, he then makes Dylan the leader of the new Zenith team by telling that a leader should be the one that can see the way. Jack then talks about the previous Zenith team with Dylan, and from the next day Jack starts to train them seriously, this time the kids also took Jack seriously and start to do as Jack says, and they nailed the paintball training without a single scratch, later we see Dr. Grant and the general at the drift location from where concussion is going to emerge, they are making a plan, they decide to use a sonic net to trap him so that his personality will revert back again. Back at the facility on completing the training regime given by Jack, he gives them a party. At the party Dylan and Summer dance together, and Jack dances with Marcia. Then the general comes there to ruin their happy time, and he, te and he tells that the kids are not strong enough for the mission and he is going to use Gamma 13 on them. Jack notices the equipment that is used for Gamma 13 experiment. Next day Jack wakes up the kids and takes them to some place, then he shows them the previous Zenith members' names written on a wall and gives them names, he gives them some lame names and they didn't like them, so they give themselves some decent names, Tyler is Megaboy, Dylan is Houdini, Cindy is Princess, and finally Summer is Wonder, after they got their names Jack tells them they are going to escape from here, then Dylan gets out of control he sees the control room and sees concussion on the screen, he understands what they are training them for, he tells this to Jack and says concussion is alive and he is coming back, he goes to meet the general, on his way he blames Marcia for this, thinking that she know about this all the time, Marcia is confused, he gets to the general and confronts him and says that they will never have a chance against concussion, but the general doesn't listen to him and puts him in the isolation chamber, he decides to use Gamma 13 on them to make them stronger, Dylan sees this and informs this to the others, Marcia comes there with some guards to take them to the experiment, on their way Marcia blows two of the guards with wind, turns out she has super powers too, and the kids knock out the other guards, they get to the isolation chamber and Cindy punches the door open along with Jack, Jack tells them they should have used the little green button that says open written on it, when Jack asks why Marcia is here, Tucker says she is one of us and she got powers too, and Tucker says she blows, well, that sounds weird in my mind, they all go to the UFO and gets into it, Summer did some rearranging in the ship's functions with her powers, and the ship gets faster, they all get to the drift location in the UFO, Jack tells them to stay in and he goes alone, the portal opens up and concussion falls out of it, Jack tries to talk with his brother, but he uses his powers on Jack and pushes him away, and he recognizes that Jack lost his powers, the general sees this and goes to prepare the sonic net, while they are about to, the kids comes there in their costumes, they activate the weapon and throws it onto concussion but he repels it with his sonic powers, it gets repelled and when about to fall on Cindy Jack gets fast and saves her in a flick, he then realizes that he never lost his powers, but just lack the reason to use them all this time, then Jack gets back to the facility to get his suit, he must be really excited to try that suit on, then Zoom starts to run in circles to create a vortex, Tucker uses his powers and makes concussion fly away, 
Cindy pulls out a pole and swings it onto him to make him fall in the vortex. When he gets a little deviated in the path, Marsha blows him. That still sounds weird to me. He then falls into the vortex and Zoom closes the vortex by running at super speed. And bam, all the effects caused by the Gamma 13 are reversed back and concussion becomes normal now. He apologizes Jack for all the things he has done. And they hug each other, and they all get to their normal lives and living happy life. But they still do their superhero thing when problems occur. Click on the like button if you like the video, and don't forget to subscribe the channel, and click the bell icon to get more videos like this.